Little known fact, there are actually two creation stories in the book of Genesis. The second is the one that's more often recounted. It has to do with um, God taking the rib out of Adam to make Eve. It's a more patriarchal story, we might say, a less equal one. The first version of the story has both male and female, here they're not named, created in the image of God. The only name we're given is Adam, which is seen as the, the earth creature, the original human being. And there are even some ideas that that original creature might have been what we would now call a hermaphrodite, both male and female in one form that then split off into two. And this the Torah shares with some ancient Greek myths as well. But the most important part is the idea that male and female are created equally in the image of God, that who we are is in God's image and therefore has inherent dignity and holiness and worth. I've been asked to respond to the idea that God makes no mistakes, and so for somebody to transition in their gender is to suggest that God made a mistake, and, and so to make that change is a sin. Uh, this, I think, is, is ludicrous from a religious or a spiritual point of view, especially within Judaism. None of us are made, none of us are born as who we become. Anyone who's a religious person, who's a spiritual person, takes seriously the notion that we're meant to be on a journey of transformation and of change. That's the essential message of, of our holiest days, of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, of Passover, which we're in now, that we're on a journey. And that journey is one that requires courage, and that journey is one that requires transformation, that calls us to be partners with God in making the world and in making ourselves to be who we are ultimately meant to be. So is there a direction for us to go? Absolutely. Are we called to be our highest and best selves? Absolutely. But do we start off with everything in place? Absolutely not. And so for me, the notion that part of someone's journey might be a transition so that their outside matches their inside, that to me seems very much in keeping with the great journeys within our tradition.